welcome guys today i'm gonna show you how to machine a part by using this cartier software so this is the part you're gonna machine today so click start shape generative shape design and then you will search for this icon name rough stock so this small box will appear and then click the part body for the selection and then you have to decrease the height slightly if your rough stock is higher than your part body so i'm going to decrease to 70 mm and then click ok now i'm going to do a reference plane but in this case i'm already done with the reference plane but if you guys have want to do the reference plane you can do it by clicking this icon plane and you can offset it how much you can and cancel now i'm gonna click start again and go to the machining and advanced machining okay in advanced machining we're gonna click the part operation double click it and then this box will appear and on your left first box is machine click it and go to the five axis option and here in tooling it will go to the not specify you click tool sample 01 and composition you for the no you click tip and contact and click this error as okay and this box here un untick it in numerical control under the post processor words table click for the ppt table yeah, ppt table sample yes that's the one and click okay Okay, next you have to go to the axis which is under the machine box. You click on any the red area, click it and click the reference axis. And click OK. And next you're gonna go to the uh, no design part selector, which is like a pocket design. And under the product list, there will be part one and extract it until you see the part body. Click the part body and it is selected. Then go to the rough stock and then you will find the rough stock at your side click it and then you go to the plane this plane is your safety plane and you have to click your reference plane which is this the one click it and then it's selected now okay 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 now we're gonna move to the facing and at your, on your left manufacturing program click it and click on the icon name facing okay once you click that this box will come out and in, you have to click this thing and you have to click the rough stock top view so that this small thing the small rectangle square shape will turn into green and then you have to click this or this thing and you have to alternate and left click and then you will select the top view of the part body and then all the things will change to green color and now you have to remove this size by choosing remove it and then yeah, and then by choosing the by belt of faces then you have to click all the surroundings of the rough stock and then press ok now all are all are set then we're gonna go for the replay as we see okay it's very nice now click ok and press ok okay okay next what we gonna do is first we need to hide this rough top then we need to continue on profile contouring okay then you guys will see this profile contouring dialog box for this click to select the bottom you need to pick the top part and then first you guys need to remove all controls right click choose by band of faces then you need to choose all the faces I think we need to zoom in a bit choose this part press this then press the end of the complete cycle then click ok as you see it all turn green means it's valid ok 
okay nice let's check on the video replay all right that's nice then click ok then click ok again ok next after next next the next step we're going to do is pocketing ok so let's click on pocketing icon over here ok first we're gonna do pocketing on this side so we need to click the bottom which will be this In the top view will be this and this is need to remove all islands and by benefit we need to choose this faces cause we don't want to remove this part okay and then click ok let's check out the tool part briefly okay then let's check on the simulation okay that's nice then click ok click ok again okay next we're gonna do pocketing on inside here so click on pocketing icon again so the bottom will be this the top will be this and that will be fine i think so let's check out on full part play okay it's done so we need to proceed to next step which is into pocket inside here okay, so as usual the bottom will be this as you all can see this is the island so we should remove this as we need it there and this will be our top then Let's check it out. Okay, that's it. It's done. Okay. okay. Next, we're gonna make the hole here. We're gonna select again pocketing icon. As you all can see. Here don't have a bottom surface, so our reference plane the bottom will be the the one we need to choose, and this will be the top. Then the side, click by bell of faces, and choose all of this. Click OK over here. Let's check out the replay. All right, it's it. It's done. And click OK. Click OK. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, next step we're gonna do pocketing again so to remove the excess outside here. So let's click on pocketing icon again. Okay, so the bottom surface will be this, the top is this. First, we need to remove unwanted island. Click by bell of faces, and we just need to choose these faces. Then click OK. Let's check on the replay. Okay. Okay. It's done. Click OK. OK again. Okay, next, we're going to drill the six hole before that we need to spot drill the six hole so let's choose this spot drill icon 
then this box will open so we need to set up our point so i'm going to choose all these six points okay, then we need to set up the tab the spot drill then this is our jump distance it's the distance between the tool bit and the part so we need to make sure it above the part so that it does not collide so i'll make it 50 so now it should be fine it don't collide with our part when it's intersect over here let's check on the replay See this spot drill this looks good. And click OK. Click OK again. So next, we need to drill out the six holes. So we need to choose this again and choose the drilling icon. Again, we need to set up our six points. Same goes with this jump distance 15 mm. Then tap to make it roughly 25. Let's check on it. Okay, let's see, we have done our holes. Click OK. Okay, that's it. We are done with machining our parts. The last step for this machining tutorial is we need to generate the NC code for this part. Okay, first we need to click on Tools, choose Options, press Machining. Then we need to change the extension to NC. And set up our folder where we want to save our NC codes and click OK. Next, click on manufacturing program. Right click, choose object. Here you guys will see generate NC code directly. Press on it. Then here for NC data type, choose NC code, then go on NC code choose this and press execute then close your nc code is ready go on the folder which we have set up click on the nc file that's it this is our nc code for the part which we have machine all right that's all for today this is the tutorial for the machine part for machining we have done it and thanks for watching